Hello everyone, this is COADB.com or the Coat of Arms database and today we are briefly going to discuss nine different Scottish clan badges. But before we get started, we wanted to let you know that we offer genealogy, ancestral and heraldry research services at our website. Please visit the link in our description. The first to discuss is Agnew, the crest as an eagle, issuant and regardant proper. The motto is concilio non impetus, meaning by counsel, not by force. And the clan was seated historically at Lochnow Castle. The family is reputed to be of Norman origin and to come from Agnew near St. Lo, France. The Agnews may have arrived in Scotland from Ulster, around the year 1200 when William Dace Agnews witnessed a charter in Liddesdale and Eastern Dumfrieshire. Clan Armstrong, crest, an arm from the shoulder, arm proper, motto Invictus Meneo, meaning I remain unvanquished. Historic seat, Mangerton, Tradition claims the Armstrong clan progenitor was a man named Fairbarn, an armor bearer to the King of Scotland who rescued his master when he had his horse killed under him in battle. Fairbarn allegedly grasped the king by his thigh and set him on his own horse. This was an astonishing feat of strength that many suggest was impossible due to the weight of heavy medieval armor. Another legend claims the first of the name Armstrong was a man named Syward Born, meaning sword warrior. He was said to be the last Anglo-Danish Earl of Northumberland and a nephew of King Newt of Denmark. One famous member of this family was Johnny Armstrong, a Scottish raider and folk hero who was captured and hanged by King James V in 1530. Next is Clan Boyd, crest, a dexter hand erect and pale having the outer fingers bowed inward, motto confido or confido meaning I trust, historic seat, Dean Castle in Ayrshire. The prominence of the Boyds in the early Scottish history began with the Battle of Largs in 1263 when Robert Boyd was given a key assignment to take a detachment of men and clear Vikings from the high ground overlooking the beach. As Robert departed to the north, King Alexander III called out Confido and indicated the same with his first two fingers on his right hand raised and thumb crossing the palm, a royal gesture and utterance that subsequently became the clan motto and symbol according to clan history. Next is Clan Weir, crest upon a chapeau, gules, furred ermine, a boar, statin, azure, armed or motto, vero nihil veris, meaning truth, nothing but truth. Historic seat, I wasn't able to ascertain. The surname originates from veer, or very, after several places names to be found in Normandy and which derive from the coastal fishing stations set up long ago by Norse invaders. Ralph de Vere, who was with William the Lion at Alnwick in 1174, is the first of the surname to be recorded in Scotland. The most famous or rather infamous of the family was Major Thomas Weir, who was a captain of the Edinburgh Town Guard. Later, he became a fervent Protestant preacher with well-attended prayer meetings. It was at one of these meetings that he suddenly confessed to witchcraft and incest. He had the dubious honor of being the last man to be burned for witchcraft in Scotland. Next is Clan Hope. 
crest, a broken terrestrial globe surmounted by a rainbow issuing out of a cloud at each end all proper. Motto, at spes infracta, meaning, yet my hope is unbroken. Historic seat, Craig Hall in Fife. The surname Hope may be of native Scottish origin, being derived from the Scottish Borders family of Hop or Hoype. In 1296, John D. Hop of Peebleshire and Adam Lee Hoop both appear on the Ragman Rolls, submitting to Edward I of England. Alexander Nisbet suggested that the name may be from the Hublins of Picardy, a family in France. The French word Hublin means hop, which when translated into English becomes hope. Next is Clan Monroe, crest an eagle perching proper, motto, dread god, historic seat, Fowlis Castle. Monroe is a Highland Scottish clan of Irish origin. Historically, the clan was based in Easter Ross in the Scottish Highlands. Traditional origins of the clan give its founder as Donald Monroe who came from the north of Ireland and settled in Scotland in the 11th century, though its true founder may have lived later. Next is Clan Ramsay, Crest, a unicorn's head cooped argent armed or, motto, ora et labor, meaning pray and work, and the historic seat is Dal Hughes Castle or Dal or Dalhousie Castle. The Ramses are an ancient family of Anglo-Norman origin. The name was first recorded in Scotland by Simon de Ramsey, who traveled north with the Earl of Huntingdon in 1124. He was granted lands in Lothian and was the ancestor of the Ramses of Dalhousie. The Ramsey family prospered and by the 13th century there were five major branches. Next is Clan Macmillan, crest, a dexter and sinister hand issuing from the wreath, brandishing a two-handed sword proper. Motto, Miseris Securi Disco, meaning I learned to secure, secure the unfortunate. Historic seat, Castle Sween. The Macmillans are one of the number of clans, including the McKennans, the McQueries and the McFees, who descended from Air Burditch, a Hebridean prince of the old royal house of Moray, who according to one account was the great-grandson of King Macbeth. The progenitor of the clan was Gilly Chrysoid, one of the sons of Cormac, the Bishop of Dunkeld. Next we have Clan Lockhart, Crest on a chapeau gules, furred ermine, a boar's head erased argent, legued gules. Motto, corda serrata pando, meaning I open locked hearts. The family was historically seated at Lee Castle. Clan Lockhart is an ancient clan and family from the Scottish Lowlands, taking their name from Lockard or Lockhart in early times. It changed when Simon Lockhard, second of Lee, carried the key to the casket containing the heart of Robert the Bruce on the Crusades in 1330, accompanied by James Douglas and his knights. Their leaders gained vast territories throughout the lowlands in Lanarkshire, Roxburghshire, Dumfrieshire, Kirkbrightshire, Selkirkshire, Peebleshire, and also in England. If you enjoyed this video, please visit us at coadb.com, or if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Thank you very much.